Okay, we are back for another spooky dream address situation. And honestly, I really don't think that much else can scare me after what happened on my birthday. It was a disaster and uh, I am traumatized. Plus, I mean, how how are you going to try to measure up to Ica Village? I'm sorry. Ica Village, you remember? Kind of scary, wasn't it? So I just feel like that's like impossible. You can't just like compete with that. You know what I mean? Girl, can you just go a little bit more adventurous? Just a little. Come on. That's cute, right? Let's see here. Cute, right? Let's just do it. Let's just do it, you know? The craft. This is the craft, too. I love that movie. Obviously, I'm, everybody loves that movie. If you don't love that movie, you should watch it because you probably haven't seen it if you don't like it. Or do we want to do this? Hmm. No, you know what? I think I'm just going to go for it. I think I'm just going to go for it. You know? Am I just going to go for it? Yeah. Yeah, I think I am. Yep. She really did that, you guys. Yep. This is about as daring as I get, okay? Can you just let me have my moment, please? Thank you. Okay. What about the pants? Yeah. Yeah. She's going there. She's going all the way. If she's going to do it, she's going to do it in style. She's going to do it the right way. Mm, close, but no cigar. Ooh. Well, it's the fall. You got to remember, Amanda. It is fall. Oh, this just reminded me of, there's this amazing, um, ooh, perfect, right? Perfect. I should probably wear like socks or something with it though, right? Or are these cute? These are also really cute with it. Hmm. I think the boots, right? Those are too much. No, I just got reminded of Netherworld, which is like this really awesome, um, like haunted house type thing. Well, there's a lot of haunted houses. So it's like this haunted attraction, right? Where you go, it's like a thing, you know? You, you probably all have one in your area where you go and like, you pay to go in all the different crazy little haunts. And it's so good. And I love it and I love going. And I just was thinking about the last time I went with my girls, with my spooky girls. And we all had so much fun, so much fun. And, oh my god, she's so cute. Can you believe her? She's really going there. She really is. She's trying to make memories tonight. Ugh, and I just love going to Netherworld. And I'm so sad I didn't get to go this year. Because it's not open. Because it's the thing. Ugh. Oh my god, can you believe her? I can't. I kind of can't believe her. But yeah, it's really fun. It's, it's pretty scary, too. You know, it's hard to scare me, you know? Like when I went with my two, two of my very good friends who are my horror girls, like we always watch scary movies. I miss you guys. I want to have another sleepover soon. We used to have sleepovers and watch scary movies. And then the pandemic. Anka's poster. I can't believe it. Oh, I caught a moray eel. When did I catch that thing? I haven't seen Kyle today and I don't, I haven't really seen him since the whole birthday situation it's just kind of raw you know? oh no what his nose the hell was his nose did you see that should i have not stayed up all night learning new stuff that's so so me it's not even funny no it was a great decision i stand by it that is me kyle oh my god okay his nose is red what the hell kyle why is his nose glowing? Oh, Kyle, I'll be right back, sweetheart. Okay, we have our excuse. We have our justification. He was coming down with something. He was not feeling his self. Like, he really wasn't. Like, he he just didn't really want to participate, you know? He kind of came out. He saw KK Slider, but that was like he, he got to sit down. Oh, hey, Kicks. He got to sit down while he was doing it. 
And then he was just kind of inside all day building shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? And he just was sick. I think he was coming down with something. You know, like the few. Oh, look at that white pumpkin. That one's really scary. Timmy, I don't want to talk to you. Mind your own business. No, you know, I'm curious. If I didn't, if I wasn't curious about, oh, can I have a piece of candy, Nug Twins? Yeah, thank you. Excellent purchase. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I wish I could buy another one. I would make another excellent purchase if you'd let me. Okay, how many? Are you guys going to allow me to have more than one medicine? I mean, I only need one, but this is ridiculous. Anyway, yeah, this is our justification. Kyle was sick. And he was, you know, like, have you ever, like, the day before you get super sick, you can just kind of feel it coming, but, like, you're in denial about it. You're like, oh, I feel crappy, but I don't think I'm, like, going to get sick, you know? I think I'm just going to power through it. I'm just going to act like I'm not getting sick. Ooh, this is a nice guitar. Ooh, I mean, I can afford it. You know what? I'm going to buy it for Kyle to give to him when he gets better because I'm a simp. <laughs> because I'm a simp. What can I say? Is there anything I can sell these stupid Nook Twins? I only want to conduct my business with Tommy. Thank you. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you for talking to me so I don't have to talk to your commie brother. I'm just going to say it. He's a commie. He is. <laughs> it's fine. Not necessarily a bad thing. Not always. Let's see here. Um, yeah, get this out of my sight. Yikes, for sure. Um, yeah, so Kyle, he thought, you know, he could just kind of power through it, you know, but he was coming down with it, the flu, you know? I feel like there's been a lot of days where, like, I'm about to get the flu. I'm big on being in complete denial until I can't be anymore, you know? <laughs> And waiting until the last minute to go to the doctor. Not a good thing. Don't do that. Don't be like me. Um, but I'm always in denial about if I have an issue or if something's bad, basically. <laughs> and I'll wait to the last minute to, like, solve it, problems or to, like, acknowledge that I'm sick or that I have, like, a cavity or something. And so, uh, yeah, I can see Kyle doing that. He tried to go out and about, tried to, can you get out of my way? What the hell are you eating? What are you eating? Is that like a big sub? A sandwich? What the hell is he eating? I kind of can't make it out. Is it a pudgical? What is it? A burrito? Hold on. I just got to figure out what he's eating. Is it a sandwich? I don't know why it looks like it looked tubular. It looked like a burrito or something. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, I got to fix Kyle before we go anywhere. Yeah, he was coming down with something. That's why he wasn't on his game. There's always a reason. With Kyle... He's a good guy. I know that everybody was just as shocked as I was to see him drop the ball so bad on my birthday. Kyle, just make sure not to sneeze on me again during a global pandemic. Thank you. Am I dreaming? Or are you for real? Kyle, I'm right here, baby. And then you got to go lay down in your bed, in your bed bed, the one with the pillow and blanket. Go lay down. Oh, sweetheart. Oh my God, it's my old mummy outfit though. Why do you have to say it's my old mummy outfit? But you know I love mummies. He knows me. This was my real birthday present. Oh, don't hesitate to call on me in your darkest hour. That is so sweet. Leave me in a too darkest hour and I'll never desert you. I'll stand by you. I'll stand by you. <laughs> and then, you know, he drifts off to sleep. And it's just a beautiful thing. It really is. Kyle, you know I love you and I understand. I understand all is forgiven with Kyle. Of course it is. It's all justified. It's all forgiven. It's all explained away. I love to see it. We love to see it. I never, you know, I'm picking and choosing my battles. I never want to stay harping on something. I always want to have a resolution. Always. Every time. Like in real life, honest to God, there is no um, apology that I won't accept for better or worse. Honestly, it really can. It's not always a good thing. Um... Like, I really don't think that there's any, there's been some people who have wronged me as bad as you can wrong someone. And I feel like while I would never like be like, yeah, all is forgiven and like we can be friends. I feel like I'm always, I don't know, like I'm always one to like, if somebody came to me with like a sincere apology 
and was like genuinely wanting to change or at least like at least just like you know if their apology was like selfless you know and it was not for them because you can tell when people are apologizing and trying to like get forgiveness from you for their own selfish reasons like because they feel bad but for the most part like any apology I always want to bury hatchets and like resolve things I am very forgiving of people again for for uh for better or worse honestly it's not always a good thing and now I need my girl Luna to get me the hell out of here because we are going to I already forget I already forget what it's called and I gotta look it up um how may I be of assistance you know I want to dream then I shall connect to the internet to initialize a dream download. Now, how shall I prepare your dream? Girl, I got a, I got a dream address for you. And this one's a doozy. Apparently this one for some people, not everybody, but for some people, this is the scariest one. Like a lot of people say this is scarier than Ica. I don't know if I can, I, I don't know. I don't know what to think. I really don't. This one is, <clears throat> I probably, I'm going to try my best not to not to mispronounce it. Hitokuai Village. Hitokuai? Apparently it means cannibal village. So that's interesting. 8875, 88. Cannibalism never scared me very much. Not... Just kidding. No, it's pretty horrifying, actually. Even though, you know, it's a taste of our own medicine, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's it's pretty scary shit, you know? Just even that word, even the word cannibal, it's just a scary word. Thank you. One moment whilst I browse the library of dreams. That's right. The dream address you provided appears to be for an island called Cannibal Village, apparently. Is that correct? Yeah, that's it. Splendid. Then everything is sorted. Please close your eyes and relax. I don't know how easy it's going to be for me to relax, girl. Drift and compile. Emerge within your dream. Here we are. Yeah, it's a scary place. Another scary place. Ooh, look at that flag. That's kind of freaky, right? I feel like an eye. Now open your eyes. It's a guided meditation. Okay. Y'all, meditating is so hard for me. Like, I really want to do it. I really want to take it very seriously. I need it. But I just can't commit. Does anybody else have that problem? I can't commit to it. I'll always be like, okay, I'm going to meditate once a day. And then I just can't because I have ADD. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. Like, give me some, give me some like meditation tips because I really want to get into it. I need it. I really need it. I think more than anyone. <laughs> you are now in a deep slumber, dreaming peacefully of an island named that. When you wish to awaken from the stream, you need only lie down in this bed. I will take care of the rest. All right, girl. And with that, may your dream of this place be a sweet one. I'm not sure that's possible, girl, but okay. Uh, all right, get me up. Is this going to be the midsummer call or something? I can't wait. Scare me, scare me. Ooh, scary. Yeah, I really do need meditation. I have like really bad intrusive thoughts, like really, really bad. Ooh, okay. Like ridiculous. They keep me up at night so hard and I won't like go into detail about, about them, but like to just give you an example of how ridiculous they can be, I'll just give you the, the most ridiculous one that hopefully won't bother you too much because I obviously have some like pretty real intrusive thoughts, but the other night I genuinely could not sleep and I hardly slept because I couldn't stop thinking about how much it sucks how much it would suck. Oh, it's Egbert. Look at Egbert. Yeah, he's already scary. He's like, get me out of here. <laughs> that 
that's freaky. Actually, that's kind of freaky, Agbar. He goes, I know we don't know each other, but I can already tell you're going to love this island, doodle da. That's my Agbert freaking voice. Because he's always strung out. It's pretty great, you know, for a small mass of land floating in water. Okay, Agbar, why don't you go get some sleep, buddy? You've been thinking about the same stuff I've been thinking about all night. Yeah. Long story short, don't want to go into it too hard. I literally could not sleep and could not get out of my head how much it must have sucked to be beheaded by like a guillotine, like in the French Revolution. I'm talking like something I will never have to deal with. <laughs> I was like, God, that must have sucked. Like you just can't do anything about it. Like I was like, really? I felt like I was Marie Antoinette. Like I felt like it was in her body. I was like, oh my God, I really don't want this to happen, but I guess they're going to guillotine me. And I was like feeling the anxiety of like having no, like, like not being able to like stop being beheaded. It was so weird. I was like, God, that must have sucked. Like, I wonder if you're still thinking. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, that's the kind of stuff I think about. I got to have some meditation in my life. Clearly. What is this? So far, not scary at all, actually. Egbert has been the scariest thing. I don't know. Yeah, there's no long boys. Ooh, who's this? Lolly? Oh, my God, Raymond. The Raymond. This is the first time I've ever seen Raymond. Okay, I guess he exists. Apparently, Raymond exists. Hi, Raymond. Let me try to do my Raymond voice. Ready? Hey, we meet again. This dream just keeps getting better and better, Crisp. So, if this is really a dream... I'm not technically under any non-disclosure agreements, right? Great. Then I can tell you about my proprietary pepperoni preppers. What? My proprietary pepperoncini recipe. Raymond is so funny and, and very charming, and I got to get out of here. <laughs> He's really got me in the bag. I'm like, hold on, one more. Already. Yeah, I'm falling for that shit, of course. He's very charismatic. Okay, what do we got here? This is a beautiful little house. I love the I love the exterior. Is this the right place? Is this the right place? This is like a restaurant. I mean, it is <laughs> Cannibal Village, so maybe I'm about to get cooked. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, chili cook-off. Like, what the hell? Very cute. We got some fish on display. Very cute little restaurant. What do we got here? Ooh. Yeah. The dogs are making noises, and now I'm scared that the friggin' cannibals are here. Hold on. It is, um, you know, Cannibal Village. This is weird, you know? But so far, so, uh, so plain. So regular. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's nothing really uh, of note in here. No, nothing. Nada, unfortunately. I want to find something horrifying. I really do. I mean, I'm a little scared, not going to lie. I'm dog sitting and I'm, I'm home. I'm, I'm here alone. So that's a little scary. It's a stormy night. A little bit ambient, a little bit scary, not going to lie. I just had to kind of like make sure the uh, all the doors were locked. But um. Yeah, I don't know. There's a coelacanth in here. The only thing scary is that this coelacanth does not have nearly enough room. This is an understatedly inadequate enclosure for this coelacanth. This beautiful living fossil does not deserve to be kept like this. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's the only thing I can see that's wrong with this place. But you know what? This is kind of maybe the facade. You know what I mean? This is like the, this is like the restaurant that they serve human flesh out of. And everything seems normal. Is that it? I'm on to you. Cannibal Village. <laughs> yeah, nothing out of the ordinary here. All right. Um, well, maybe the basement will get me. What do we got in the basement? Hmm. 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 Holy shit. Is that a severed head? Ooh, yep. That is a severed head with blood. Nice. Just very blatantly a severed head with blood. Yep. Yep. And there's a meat cleaver. Ooh, ooh. So this is just going to straight up be so scary. Yeah. Meat cleaver. This woman is, it, is a bride of some sort. Too bad. So sad. Very, very sad. She's supposed to be the happiest day of her life. And here she is. Here she is. We got some crabs here. Sausage. Yikes. Very scary. Ooh, look at that. And it's a person. Whoa, I just had to look behind me a little bit. Uh-oh. So scary. Unfortunately, this is horrifying. Yeah. Oh, my God. Whoa. 
Whoa, is that somebody's uh that's somebody's rib cage right there. Holy shit. Yep, that is right that is it. Yep. It's a rib cage. Nice. How creative. How fun. How fun and creative. This is so great cuz like you you got to do what you can in Animal Crossing and so they use a pillow to make a rib cage to make somebody's torso. This is someone's torso. And that's a meat cleaver, again, being uh, used, being utilized to butcher that. There's some, some, uh, yeah, the blood on the thing. Here's a blender full of blood. Wow, very scary stuff. This is startling. Yeah, that's it. That's the scary stuff. Nice. Wow. Yeah, I had to, like, look behind me a little bit because you never know. Wow. Kind of scary. This one's actually like really scary. Yeah. Oh, a humphead ras. Oh, so cute. Okay. Uh, hmm. I don't really know what is. I think it's just another part of the restaurant, you know, and they want you to think that this is all just a nice restaurant when really there's a woman's corpse downstairs being butchered. So that's not good. That is not a good thing, honestly. Uh-oh. Okay, so that's scary. And this is like just a very blatantly scary island. Whereas Ica was very disturbing. You know, but at least, you know, Raymond. Raymond is here. I don't think many bad things can happen on an island where Raymond lives, you know? Raymond? You, you think he's going to let that happen? I don't know. I don't. I just don't know if he'll let that happen. Not to me. Who do we got on this island? Who's all here? Rattle. Hi, Rattle. You guys know I love Rattle. It's always good to see Rattle, even if it's just in my dreams. Oh, look at Rattle's little science place. A little bit creepy, not gonna lie. Everyone says that my room is so cozy it could put them right to sleep. What do you think? Gotcha. Oh my gosh. Rattle, you shouldn't be saying that to me in a scary dream. But other than that, I think you're doing great. He's a scientist. I mean, come on. He's like a pathologist. <laughs> I'm happy for him. Is this Anka's? Is this Anka's place? This can't be Anka. My girl. My hero. If she's here, I'm fine. I'm going to be fine. Oh, it's Clay. Okay. Hi, Clay, my spooky guy. Remember me and Clay? We're going to have our, um, our ghost hunting show. Okay, here's my Clay voice. Ready? Hmm, feel free to sleep wherever you get sleepy. That's what I usually do. He's a cutie. Okay, Clay. Good for Clay. What a cutie. Yeah, I, I'm totally on, full speed ahead on the Clay train. I didn't get him at first, but now I do. Who's in here? I love exploring people's houses. It's so fun. People that I don't have. Oh, my God. Who's this again? Kevin? No, Maggie. Who the hell is Maggie? Whoa, wait, what? Whoa, wait. Who is Maggie? Who is Maggie? Wait, Maggie is not a... What? Whoa, wait. Because I did that whole thing of raiding every villager. I know for a fact that this is not a real villager. This isn't a real villager. Yo, where the hell did Maggie come from? Hold on. Hold on. I'm looking it up on my phone. I've never seen Maggie in my life. Maggie? Maggie from Animal Crossing. What? Maggie. Maggie? Did I, I missed, okay, so I missed Maggie completely, completely in, in, uh, raiding Animal Crossing villagers 100%. Missed her by a long shot. What? is going on with Maggie? What is going on with Maggie? What? Can you do it? I'm just having like a really big moment right now where I feel like I'm going crazy. I feel like I'm going crazy. Am I crazy? Why don't I know Maggie or remember Maggie? What the hell? Hold on. Yo, I feel like this is Mandela effect shit. I've never seen her. I feel like I might cry. I feel like I'm going crazy. I feel like I'm being gaslit by this game. Like everybody's like, Maggie's always been there. I'm like, I, you know, I really don't think she has. Can somebody just please assure me that I'm not frigging crazy? Who the hell is this woman? Who is she? Yeah, I'm looking at a list of all the pigs right now. There's Maggie. Oh my God, she is on that list. 
Oh my God. Did I do Maggie? I just feel like I've never seen her in my life. I really am going crazy. I'm really going crazy right now. I feel like I'm going insane. I do. I actually really do. Maggie. No, I've never seen this girl. No, no, I haven't. No, no, I haven't. I don't know. Apparently Maggie's been there the whole time, but I forgot her in my rating Animal Crossing Villagers. I really just can't. I don't know why I missed her. She's beautiful. She's so cute. She's so beautiful. You look great, girl. You, everything in here is pristine, in fact. She's gaslighting me. <laughs> Though I guess you now know my deep, dark secret. I'm a huge slob. Just look at the state of this place. Maggie, it's friggin' beautiful in here. And she knows it, too. I'm being gaslit. What the hell? Yeah, that's pretty scary. I'd say that's kind of scary. Yeah, I, I honestly had like a little bit of a breakdown. Because I didn't know Maggie existed, straight up. Just didn't know she existed. Who lives here, Egbert? Okay. Uh, what the hell is this? Uh, his home request, guest on. His home request is, feel free to elaborate on this, is a backwater clinic. A backwater clinic? What? Guest on what? Oh, great. Here's the backwater clinic. Here it is, the ba the famous backwater clinic. I'm going to get caught up at this backwater-ass clinic. Gaston lives there. Ugh. Gross. That's yucky and gross. <laughs> it is. Uh, where the hell? Oh, God. Okay. We got some people. Wow. Wow. Straight up. I mean, she's pretty. She's like a geisha. And she, wait, what's her face? What is her face? Whoa, I'm scared. Yep, I'm scared. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. What does she got on her face? Hello, wee woo. Come on, look over here. Come on, girly. Why is she walking around so fast like that as if she wants to hurt me and kill me? Yo. Oh my God, is it Muffy? My goth girlfriend, Muffy, look at me. Hey, pretty sure I haven't seen you around here before, Nightshade nightshade it's not every day or is it night dreams mix me up it's not every whatever it is that you meet a new face can i have her please god yo what's up with this lady girl what is she doing why is she just walking around like that can you like set them to do certain stuff you must be able to right why is she just walking around like that Girl, look up. Look at me. I want to see what's in your face. Come on. We got to get a picture of this woman. Come on. What if she, like, doesn't show up in the picture already? What is up with her? She's so fast. Where is she going? She's really making her way downtown walking fast. Face is passed and she's homebound. Why can't she just stop walking for two seconds? She must have, like, a trajectory. What is on her face? Can I just please see her? Yeah, it won't even let me, like, turn around. Girl. Oh, there she is. What is on her face? Let's try to look at this. these photographs. What is up with her? What is that? What is that? She, she's like a doll or something. She's like a broken doll. Is she like a broken doll? Yeah. She's like a broken doll. Very interesting. Muffy, what the hell is this? Girl, are you going to be okay out here? Do you want to come back with me? Because I feel like I kind of got to save you. You know what I mean? Ugh. I don't know. I just don't know. Should I pick this shit up? Is it all the same? No. Okay. She's letting me have all, all the stuff. Um, what was I going to say? I don't know. Uh, who's here? Who lives here? Raymond. I would love to see Raymond's house, but he's not home. The backwater clinic's here, though. Gaston's here. Oh, there's Ika. There's little Ika. Looks like her, at least. Chops. Chops is here, too. You know how much I love Chops. Yo, how many villagers does this person have? Chops is here. Gaston in the backwater clinic is here. Uh, Maggie, who apparently I did. Oh, Judy! Look at your beautiful home! Welcome to Chez Judy. Let's just call it my dream home, shall we, my oh my? It's beautiful. It's like a pastel paradise. Look at the, the lights, the string lights. Where do you get those? Judy, where the hell did you get those? 
Where the hell did you get these? They're so pretty and cute. Judy, out of all people, up here in Cannibal Island. Judy's out here in Cannibal Island, surviving every day. Surviving and fighting for her life every day. That's horrible. It's terrible. She shouldn't have to do that. She shouldn't have to deal with that. Judy's got to deal with cannibals. Okay. At least they're eating. They're just eating humans. They're not eating animals if they're cannibals. Oh, look at who it is. Tank, the alien. Welcome to my dream home. Or since it's your dream, is it your dream home? Tank, don't think too hard, buddy. Oh, my God. I got to deal with all these crazy cannibals out here. I don't even want to go into any of these houses. I'm too scared. I'm a little too scared. I got to go into that other restaurant. Ike is out here just chilling. I would love to go into the backwater clinic, see what that's all about, since it's just a dream. Since he can't Freddy Krueger me, at least not that I know of. I'd love to see what the backwater clinic's all about, you know? What's going on there? Because I feel like it's kind of where he takes people to kill them. Don't you think? Yep, Gaston's backwater clinic right there. Right there. That's it. That is it. Not going to lie to you. Who's is this again? Oh, this is Maggie's, right? Maggie. Maggie, who I just found out existed. Just found out she existed. Didn't know. I did not know about Maggie. Let's put it that way. Okay, what is this one? Oh, my God. It's pretty on the outside. What do we got in here? Hmm. Is that a sea turtle? What the hell is that? Oh. It's a um, Asian arowana. So it's like a waiting room. It's like a waiting room. Ooh, the TV's all staticky. That's super scary and shitty. Ooh, it's got like a dentist office. Not not safe very scary yeah dentist or something yep that's kind of scary it's just like a haunted situation or not a haunted no that's the thing that's kind of scary about this one is like not haunted Ooh, they don't want you going in there they don't want you going in there they don't want you going in there because there's a camera and stuff Ooh, scary this is not gonna be good yep not good not good <gasps> not good <laughs> at all Oh my god. <gasps> Whoa, I just had to look behind me. Look at all the like eyes on the wall. <gasps> this is like the interrogation room. Oh my god. Yo, this is so messed up. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. What? What is that? Oh my god. Yep. Yeah, this is so scary. What does this say? I don't know. I just don't know what it says. But it's super scary. Incredibly. It's like a note. It's like a message. Wow. The eyes and stuff. The tape recording. This is like a this is like a torture room. This is where they torture you and they record it, I guess. Do they record it for for their personal viewing or do they show you recordings of like your loved ones being killed? I don't know. That's scary. That's so scary that's like blatantly so friggin scary oh wow yeah they don't want you going in there don't want you going in there and they get the camera that sucks that sucks wow scary as hell scary as hell raymond's pictures on the wall by the way what does he have to do with this yikes okay so this is the hospital ward wow super scary right kind of scary Pretty scary, not gonna lie. What is this? Just a lost item that I can't pick up. What else we got? I'm nervous. I'm pretty scared. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Got pretty much everything in here. Dumbo octopus. So cute. Is it a vampire squid? Nice. Ooh, okay, wow. Got a big old beetle in there. Yeah, looks like it's just a lab where, it, ooh, is that a giant marine isopod? How cute is he? And he's like poking out. That's very cute. Nudibrank? Ooh, love it. Cool. Nautilus, nice. Yep. Mm-hmm. Barrel eye, nice. 
all right, get me out of here. I just don't want to see animals being tortured, you know, <laughs> personally. Just kind of upsets me a little bit. Uh, wow. The basement is always going to be terrifying and horrifying, probably. Yikes. Yep. Wow. Terrible, horrible situation down here. Yikes. Yikes. Yep. There's a camera I'm filming everything. So that's great because it's like they know I'm here. You know what I mean? That sucks. That sucks a lot. Yeah. The trash bags. Wow. Is that someone's torso? Let's check it out. Oh my God. I'm so glad that this isn't like an actual game that like somebody, yeah, it's a torso. Love it. Yep. Looks like someone was just freshly killed. Yep. The trash bags. Amazing. So good. This is amazing. This is really, really, really well done. Wow. Science lab. Rattle. Do you have something to do with this? Rattle? Explain. Please explain. I don't want to believe that Rattle has anything to do with this. I don't want to believe he has any idea that this is even going on. Wow. This is like a science lab. Like they have all the hamsters and stuff. Wow. Is it a soft shell? No. I want him to, stay, to be – I want to get, break him out. Yikes. It's scary because it like makes you feel like at any point somebody's going to come and get you, you know? Like it makes you feel like you are playing like a horror game like Outlast or something where they come and get you where they're like, hey, what are you doing? And you're like snooping around like a hospital. That one was so scary. So good how they make it like seem kind of normal on the outside. But then you you kind of um, you like wander into places that you clearly shouldn't be. Ooh, there's the doll, the broken doll. She's trying to get me. I didn't do anything to her. I don't think that she needs to. Ooh, what the hell? Yo, what is up with her? What is up with her? She's a duck. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is so horrifying. Wow. That's terrible. I hate that. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I really just don't like it. I don't think she's pulling it off at all think that it doesn't look good oh this is an actual fossil okay i thought it was like a clue who else we got out here wow so the villages are actually scary raymond what the hell is going on here what, what you're oh my god okay y'all i'm falling in love with raymond in my dream y'all ever have like a dream about someone <laughs> and you like kind of low-key fall in love with them this is happening to me oh don't tell kyle very embarrassing yo raymond is is really making me fall in love with him. God, he's like so different. <laughs> Running into you again in this dream gives me a great idea for how to end the novel I've been working on. Is he my dream man? I hope not. It was all just a dream. <laughs> no one will see it coming. Raymond, you know damn well how cliche that is. And I love that about him. He really is everything y'all y'all worked him up to be. But I'm wondering why you live here, Raymond. This is this place is kind of a mess. This place is 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 like out of control. You know what the hell is this a cult or something? Why is Raymond here, out of all people? Yikes! Like, shouldn't you be trying to solve the murders, Doctor Spencer Reed? Hello! Oh my God! What? Who is this? She's got blood on her. Yo, I see exactly what you're doing, girl. What the hell? She has blood on her back. What is this? What is this place? Oh, my God. It's beautiful. Another beautiful house on the outside. Hmm. They're like rotted within. Oh, my God. A chapel. Nice. Remember that woman who was dead and she had her like, she had like a veil. And she had her, she was beheaded in the basement of the, restaurant <laughs> what the hell this is a church this is a church yep nice love it sick yep we got a scary book probably where they make people like read the bible or something oh and they got handprints and footprints everywhere whoa scary cult this is like friggin uh, apostle have you seen that movie apostle Ooh, that one was scary that one's really scary I had the worst dream the other night, actually. I had, like, a scary, scary, scary dream. Very scary dream. 
very, very scary dream. Horrible, actually. Oh, it was terrible. God. Yeah, I guess I should tell you guys about it, right? It's scary, though. It's just so scary because it's, like, very real. Now I don't Oh, yeah, wow. I'm remembering it now. Um, it was really one of those dreams where, like, you wake up and you're like, I hate this. <laughs> I don't want to go back to sleep thinking about this shit. Especially because, like, sometimes when, ooh, ooh, we got a cult. Wow, look at the walls. So culty. So culty. Wow, very culty. Yep, cult stuff, rituals, sacrifices, R- rituals, sacrifices, all that stuff. Love it. Yeah. Like sometimes when you know how I said like oh, I'm a pretty good dreamer. Um, you know, I don't I don't always have full control. And sometimes because I have the ability to go back into dreams, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, this is a total cult. <gasps> wow, they've got a they've got an in like a freaking circle. What is that? I forget what it's called, like an incant in incantation circle. Is that what that is? It's like a freaking uh what do they call it? No, that's not the same thing like Edward Elric freaking draws in the thing. What is that called? Uh, um, transmutation circle? That's not what that is, right? This is a different thing. Or maybe it's not. Maybe y'all are trying to bring dead people back. Maybe you're trying to turn your dogs and your and your daughters into fucking scary shit. Maybe. Maybe it isn't so different. <laughs> anyway. So sometimes, whoa, damn, scary, very scary. Holy shit. Whoa, is this like the creature that they're like sacrificing? This is so scary, like just blatantly scary. Love this. Wow. No, I'm actually a little bit scared. I really am. Yep. Wow. Like the detail is just so scary. You know, it's very scary. This thing, very scary. I love this one, and I love how different it is than the other one, you know, because it's like the other one, Ica Village, is so um, subtle. It's very subtly. It's very, uh, very disturbing, whereas this one is just like horror, like pure nightmare, like nightmare fuel, like horrible, scary. Did it go into every room? I think so, yeah. Scary, very scary. Anyway. So my mind seems to make like a loop with dreams where it 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 kind of tethers like it it kind of like keeps you know how when you're like rock climbing and stuff or something and you keep like or I don't know what I'm trying to say it's like you like clip a thing onto the rock and then you go a little higher and then that way like if you fall you can just go back to that spot you clipped in the rock, if that makes sense. Um, it's like my dream cl- like keeps a little clip in that dream when I wake up. That scary doll woman, what is she doing? Is she okay? Does she need help? And is there anything I can do to help her? Because I think she does. Whoa. Whoa. This is like a train track. We got some scary shit. Just a bunch of like very scary stuff. There's a guy up there. Scary sign. Yep. Train tracks. Wow. We got some gyroid shit going on here. Some. uh... Remember I like never put this off. Can I put it off here? Probably not. Right. Just never got to put it off. I still to this day. (gasps) Oh. What? Oh, it's kind of like TNT or some shit. How do I how do I light it? A. A. Ooh. Ooh. That's how we do it. That's how we do it, huh? Oh, I thought it was like a big firework. I thought it was a big one. I thought it was going to be a big one. Kind of underwhelming a little bit, you know. But let's just fuck it up out here. Let's just make, you know, Let's raise a little cane, <laughs> as they say. Yeah, why not, right? So anyway, I feel like my dreams, like my brain kind of like puts a pin almost or clips, puts a little clip, little breadcrumbs, if you will, in my dreams. And when I wake up and I'm still kind of like in that half asleep state, like I, that's why I can always go back. You know what I mean? Wow, look at that. Kind of ambient. Wait, can you see it? Nope, never mind. Never mind. I was going to say, ooh, look at that. But I can't even see it. Never mind. Okay. 
Um, yeah, so that's why I can kind of like always, ooh, there's like a train track and you can kind of like follow it. And that woman needs help. She needs guidance, you know? Ooh, who's this chef? Okay. All right. I don't know. Um, anyway, yeah, like I can always, I can very easily access my dreams if I want to go back. Is this a new one? And sometimes that actually works against me because then sometimes I'll like wake up from a really scary dream. Holy shit. Holy shit. What is she? Is she a whole ass furry? Wait, can I actually turn myself into an animal? Because I kind of want to. Wow. She's just a whole wolf. Maybe I can be the girl that Kyle wants. She's just a whole wolf. She's a wolf. She's not even a furry either. She's she's killing it. She's pulling it off. She's pulling it off. Girl, where did you get your fursuit? She's pulling it off. She's killing it. I'm actually so jealous. Wow, the blood. I love her. I think she looks great. I think she looks great. Oh, my God. Yo, that sucks. Sometimes less is more. <laughs> Sometimes less really is more. And that is definitely, that says everything you need to know. That person got killed and dragged away. Holy shit. Yep, they got killed. They tried to get out and they didn't make it. <laughs> Sorry to say that they didn't make it. This wolf woman, though, I'm kind of catching feelings. Is she single? Who is she? Damn, girl, you are looking better than ever. I've never even seen her before. <laughs> but I also, I already know that there's no way she could have looked any better than she does now. This is her peak. Ooh, boy. Okay, are we eating the hamsters? What is going on here? Are we eating them? Eating the hamsters. What are we doing? Ratatouille. I don't like this. <laughs> That's pretty. That's really pretty. Where, what do, where do we get this? I want that. It's very pretty. Anyway, um, yeah, so sometimes it works, like, against me when I can easily go back into a, ooh, I got to get a murder bathroom here. Yikes. Never a good thing. Never a good thing. A psycho bathroom. That sucks. Too bad. Too bad that they got murdered. Anyway, sometimes I can just, like, I, I can very easily, like, accidentally go back into a scary dream that I'm having. Did I already go in there? Yeah, that was the, did I? Did I? I forget. Um, I can go accidentally kind of like fall almost back. Yeah, that was the ratatouille scary shit. I can kind of fall back into a scary dream that I was having. And that sucks too. It's almost like I have to like really wake myself up and be like, God, I don't want to go back there. Sorry, just don't. Does that ever happen to y'all? Oh, these bears are cute. I have never gotten these scarf bears before. They're cute. Aw, everything's cute in here. This is fine. This is fine. Yeah, I like this one. Um, so anyway, I had this horrifying dream. It was very real. You know, it was like so fucking real. <laughs> so real. God, I hated it. Awful. Awful shit. <gasps> Damn. This is just straight up a, 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 a whole massacre. Yep, this is a massacre. Oh, my God. A massacre. And we got this horrible skeleton over here. You know how I feel about skeletons. Yikes. Yikes. So scary. Just a bunch of just a bunch of torsos being cut up for human consumption. So scary. Like who is in charge of this shit? You know, like why do people just do this? <laughs> yeah. Yep, there's a chair right here for whatever reason. So scary. Yeah, this is like the dungeon. Hate it. Hate it a lot. Anyway, my dream. So scary. Um, I try I won't try to I won't go into too much detail because it really is kind of just like horrifying. And it's like very real again, you know, it's like human horror, you know. So I had this dream that I was like, I was not myself, I was somebody else. Cause I had like this boyfriend that I was with, right? I was with like this boyfriend that I've never seen before. Um, and I know that I was like, I was like somebody else. I wasn't like me with a new boyfriend at all. It was just like, I can't, cause I could feel it. It was almost like I was like living a moment that someone else had experienced. You know what I mean? Cause I knew I was very aware that I wasn't Amanda in the stream. 
and I had this boyfriend and I also like knew that like, ooh, there's a duck woman. What is up with her? She's on the loose. Y'all, just FYI, she's on the loose, <laughs> okay? Running around on the loose. Very scary. Um, I really want to go into the backwater clinic. Where the hell is Gaston? Is he sleeping? Is he asleep? He's asleep. Where is he? I'm not here. Okay, Gaston, where the hell are you? Haven't seen him. Haven't seen him yet. Haven't ran across him yet. Ooh, who the hell is he? <gasps> Mummy man? <gasps> Whoa, he's just straight up wearing his heart on his sleeve. Yep, he's covered in blood. And oh my God, what's his eye? What is his eye? <gasps> his eye is like red and stuff. What does he look like under there? Scary. Super scary. Very, very scary situation. Um, anyway. Yeah, that's what's weird about the stream is like I was acutely aware. Oh, God, he's a pumpkin head. Is it Jack? Who is he? This is Leatherface shit. Who is that Jack? No, I didn't know that there was such a good Jack mask. He's wearing like a bloody thing. Wow, that's so scary. He's just like a straight up monster. <laughs> just a monster. Yeah. Whoa, there he is. There's a face I don't recognize. Pleased to make your acquaintance. And look at the monster man next to us with the blood all over him. Yo, gotta say, I don't know what to make of all this dream stuff. It's all more than a bit strange. He sounds like Wart Jr. He's just reminding me of Wart Jr. Imagine Wart Jr. being in one of these islands. I'd kill him, straight up. I'd use the opportunity that I was in a dream and I wouldn't go to jail to kill him, just to drown him. But meeting a friendly face like yours in a dream is plenty enough to make it a good one, Mon Chow. Don't butter me up just so you can get me at the backwater clinic. Nope, not going. And I am telling you, I'm not going. You're the weirdest man I've ever known. And there's just no way I could ever go. No, no, there's no way. No, 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 no way I'm gonna go with you. I'm not gonna go with ya. I don't wanna go to the backwater clinic. <laughs> I'm staying, I'm staying. And you, and you, you're not gonna touch me. You're not gonna fucking touch me. <laughs> anyway, so this stream, right? Very weird and fascinating situation and so scary. I was acutely aware that I was not Amanda. I was someone else. I was like living through their life, but there was no context. Like the man that I was with, I knew that he was my boyfriend, but I didn't like, I didn't specifically know his name because I felt almost like I already knew his name and I didn't need to ask it. Because I felt like I knew him. Oh, look at the shoes. It's like a little spa, you know? Or or is it? You know what I mean? It's like a spa, but then probably not a spa. You know what I mean? Probably not a spa. Yep, this is scary. Do people die in here? Is this the trap? Or is this just the regular room, but then there's sinister things going on in the background? We don't know. Anyway, we were with this other older man, and I think he was either like my boyfriend's dad or like my dad or like our uncle or something. He was like an older friend, you know? And, uh, Ooh, that's really pretty. Very pretty. Nice. Is that like a floor? No, that's, Oh wow. Nice. So that's the flooring pattern. But then this is the, um, these are the rugs. Those are the rugs. I know what they're doing. They're either making me feel comfortable and then they're going to show me something shocking and scary. So anyway, we were like, it was really dark. Oh, this is awful. I hope I don't upset anybody. This is really awful. It's an awful, like, it's just like a very real situation that I was having this. Yep. <laughs> yep. So shocking. So terrible. Oh, my God. Yeah, blood everywhere. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This horrible, horrible skeleton. Straight up skeleton coming out. Oh my God. Yeah, this is terrifying. Yep. I knew it. I knew that they were building me up just to break me down. So scary. That's so scary. I feel like I can't even get out of here. Damn. Yeah, that's terrifying. Something bad happened there. Wow. Anyway, 
Again, don't want to go into too many details if I can help it, but I think I already went into there. Um, I was with these guys and I could tell that I loved them. Oh yeah, I already went in there. And then it was dark and we were on this path and it was like in a field and there was trees around. It was like, it was like this field in the middle of a forest and there was a path and we were walking and it was night. And then there was this guy and I felt like he was Charles Manson or something because like, it's what he looked like. Yikes. Is this scary? Actually, not too bad. Is it? Or is it? You know, you never know at this place. I like the little humphead wrasse. Is that what they call them in this game? I think they have a couple different common names. But that's what I call them. It's a male. But they can change themselves to females if there's not enough females. Weird, huh? Cool. It's almost as if that stuff is totally natural. Whoa. I don't know. Weird, you know? Oh, candles everywhere and stuff? Ooh. It's like a little cage. Yeah. Ooh, the iron doors. Scary. Ooh, the samurais. Scary. Whoa, it's so scary. Anyway. So yeah, like we were, I was with these guys and we were scared. And then there was like this Charles Manson guy and he was telling me, he was taking me away. He was like, he was like, he had like a weapon held to me and he was, he led me away from these two guys and they were sad. They were crying. They were like, no, please. We were scared. And like the other two guys were like with somebody else that had a weapon on them. And then this Charles Manson guy like led me to this like lake and like sh me, but I, but I will say I survived I kind of like, I was so scared. Cause like, I guess I like, I like kind of like jumped into the lake or something and I like barely missed the bullet, you know? Is that Aika? <laughs> I think that's Aika. Girl, what are you doing here? You don't have enough issues on your own island. You gotta come here and f shit up too. Interesting. Aika's got issues. Anyway, isn't that horrifying, my dream? Like, I don't want to go into too much. It's so scary, but but I did. I, like, managed to trick him a little bit. Like, I think he thought that he'd shot me into the water and I died. Was I just in there? Was it the the resort? I got to make sure. But then I was, like, floating in the water, and I, and I felt like I was going to drown. But I had to, like, wait until he went away. Yeah, I was just in here. And then I was like really worried about the guys that I was with. I was afraid he was gonna go kill them, even though I survived. So I was like in the water and I was like kind of like, then like when he walked away, I, like swam down. But it was such a tense dream. Like, do you ever just have a nightmare? Like you're surviving, you're not being killed yet, but it's so horrifying. Cause you're like, sort of trying to survive. You're like scared. So I'm like swimming, I'm like hiding in this water. And even though I don't, ooh, that's scary as hell. Cause it looks like this little, it's like a mask, but it looks like this little like scary person. Ooh, here's one. Here's one. Can't even check their mail. What? <laughs> anyway, I think long story short, my dream was just so scary because like, yeah, I was trying to survive. Like I had survived what this person, whoa, no, this is too f***ed up for me to just ignore. What's going on here on the paper? Let's check that out. Yeah, but like these people thought I was like dead, but I wasn't. But like if they found out that I hadn't died, I was going to die. And then I wanted, I really like loved these two men that I was with. One of them I loved like family. And then one of them I loved like a, like a partner. Wow. Very scary and culty. But what else is new? You know, what else is new? <laughs> Honestly. Um, and it's weird how I felt, I felt like, you know, I knew what our relationships were, but I didn't know their, like I, and I felt like I knew their names, but I didn't like, I can't tell you what they were because I was just not me. I was someone else. It was almost like I was experiencing something that had been experienced by someone else. Like in real life. Isn't that weird? That'd be like a good concept. For oh no. That's so horrifying. Those people are headless. Yep. No, uh, are their heads right there? Is that their heads? And then the other head is for the woman. Yep, that's her head, I think, right? And then that's her head. And then I guess, would that be the bride? Because that's not her head right there. You know, it's a, it's a radio. Where's her head? You know, is that the bride? Oh, there's a well. That is so scary. That's so scary. Terrifying, right? So terrifying. Wow, horrible. The samurai suits and stuff and the swords. Yikes.
I was just talking about how I'm up all night thinking about how much it would suck to get beheaded as if that's a real concern. I hate it. I hate it. And now I'm thinking about this person, this woman that I was for the night. Wouldn't that be a good premise of like a horror movie though? Is like in your dreams, you are reliving like the death of, of someone, you know, and you got to like solve their murder or something. Wouldn't that be cool? That's kind of a cool premise, right? It's like you start having these dreams. Oh, that's scary as hell. Damn. Damn. I go who? <laughs> I go who? Yo, that's so scary. I hate that shit. I hate that shit. I love that shit though. You know I love it. You know I love it. You know I love it and I hate it. That's scary as hell. Yep. That's officially so scary as hell. Anyway, I'm thinking of like I'm I'm on to something. <laughs> this premise right it's like imagine like you just start having these horrible nightmares but they're so real and they're so visceral and they're different than any other nightmare you had because you are actually reliving like the last moments of someone who got murdered you know Ooh, is that that woman the one we were just looking at wow scary <gasps> Ooh, that's scary as hell and she's got like a little bit of red and right that sucks that freaks me out a lot actually I apologize in advance because that's freaky as hell. Yeah, this is all fucked up. Yep, this is so scary. Aiko who, honestly. No, Aiko is scary, but this is... I'm gonna freak out. Yeah, it's like raining and I'm like, oh God, what's this sound? It's rain, Amanda. You know it's raining. Yikes, so scary. But my premise, right? The Oscar, do you think I'll win it? No, because horror never wins it. But isn't that a good idea? Not, not a bad idea, right? Because that's how I felt in this dream that I had the other night. I felt like it was someone else's memory. You know, I felt like it was, ooh, scary. Yikes. Yikes. Because there's like a little, oh, yikes. What is it? Wow. So scary. Yeah. Really just so scary. That's it. You know, there's all there is to it. It's just, ooh, there she is. <gasps> what the fuck? That is so scary. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my God, that actually horrifies me. Oh my God, she's like coming out of it. Y'all, that sucks. <gasps> what is that? Oh my God, that's so scary. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm officially scared. I'm officially so scared. Y'all, okay, who's brave? Who's brave? We're gonna zoom in on it, okay? I'm brave, but I'm gonna be really scared and it's okay if you're scared. You don't have to look because this is actually really scary. So I'll tell you when you can look again because we're going to zoom in, okay? It's scary as hell. This last picture and the other, oh my God, that is so, so scary. Holy shit. This is Animal Crossing. She's all bloody and shit and she's coming out of, that's the worst part is it? I almost hate this one more where she's not bloody. That's so scary. That's so scary. Yeah, I'll let you know when you can, because I'm zooming in on shit all over the place. I really just don't want to freak anybody out. That's horrible. Does she have a knife? Everybody's always got a damn knife. Yeah, that's really scary shit, because she looks like she's coming out of the picture. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Raymond lives here, really? Whoa. Whoa. Yo, that sucks. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm just like, I heard like a noise, but it wasn't anything, right? Oh my God. Okay. You can look again. We're, we're done with the scary picture. Holy shit. Did I go into every room? I hope so. I honestly am kind of unwilling to go into any more rooms. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah. That was really scary and uncalled for. I really didn't expect something that horrifying. In an Animal Crossing vid video, in an Animal Crossing game, that was really, really scary. And for people who aren't like used to horror, who is this down here? Great. We got another crazy person down here. This is scary. Like, and that's the thing is like, I don't, like when I sit down to play Resident Evil or Outlast, freaking Amnesia, I know I'm gonna be scared. But when I sit down to play Animal Crossing, not so much. So when I get scared at Animal Crossing, that sucks. What the hell is this? It's so dark. God, it's going to be this woman coming out. I'm sorry if I'm scaring people. Okay, that's not as scary, thankfully. Ooh, what is this? Where do I get this? This beautiful queen shit right here? Where is this? I want that. I want that. 
Yeah, I love this. I think this is nice. Oh, these are the woman's heads. They're all sacrifices, right? I hate that. Why do they always have to be women? Why can't we sacrifice men every once in a while? Come on. That sucks. Yeah, I mean, it just sucks. <laughs> they seem like nice girls, you know? <laughs> Okay, that was a little bit less insane, but that seemed like a temple, you know, like a sacrificial temple. <laughs> Look at the outside of the sacrificial temple. Very scary, huh? Yikes. Wow, lots to unpack, lots to go over. That woman coming out of the picture was so scary, and I'm sorry if any of you guys got really scared by that. There's Ika. I got to talk to her. Is that Ika? Is that the Ika? I think that's Ika. What is she doing here? Aika. Get help, Aika. Wait, where am I? Am I stuck? I feel like I'm stuck. Yeah, I'm stuck. Wow, very confusing and scary. Anyway, isn't that crazy? Like I felt like I felt like that dream was very real and scary and I felt I think the worst part, the the part that upset me the most was that I cared a lot about the people that um you know, I I felt oh god, she why is she running? What did she do? Duck woman. Duck woman is scaring me. You know it's a bad day when duck woman is scaring you. <laughs> Get out of my way, you crazy duck lady. What the hell is she doing? It's not even working for you. You look dumb. <laughs> no, she looks scary as hell. What am I talking about? Luna, why the hell did you bring me here? This place is fucked. <laughs> is this another house I have? No, I've been here. Yeah, this is the scary place one of many. This place is scary as hell. I don't think I'll ever get that woman out of my head. I'm really sorry if you had to see that and you didn't know that Animal Crossing could be that fucked up. I didn't either and I apologize. That was really scary. Um, But anyway, back to the scary dream. Yeah, that was like the worst part for me. It's like I can handle a nightmare, especially if it's about me. And if it's just like, you know, Muffy, what the hell? I know that you like dark shit, but what is this? Come on, Muffy. You're better than this. Why don't you come to my town? Chops. Out of all people. Chops. Acting like he owns the place. Chops is the whole reason for this shit. Yeah, Chops is behind this. Yep, I pinned you, Chops. I pinned you. And you know what? I will be calling the authorities. I'm telling. <laughs> I really am. I'm telling. I'm telling. Where's Gaston? I want to see the backwater clinic. He's still out. Nice. It's almost as if he doesn't want me to see the backwater clinic because it's scary. Whoa. He came out of fucking nowhere. Can you slow down, dude? Leatherface. Leatherface. Without the face. Where does this train go? Scary shit, dude. This is scary. Um, yeah. No, but that was the biggest thing for the dream. There's the train. I'm going to just follow the train track. It was that I, I care. I was so worried about these two guys. And I really don't know what happened to them. I hope they're okay. I don't know if they are, though. They, I, like, I remember feeling really sad that they thought I died because they like heard the gunshot. And I was like, oh, I hate that. Like It was so di distressing. Like It was just like a distressing, horrible situation that like, evil people were putting like good, innocent people through. You know what I mean? And I was like, this girl. And I like, oh, God. Uh, I haven't been in here yet, and this one seems fucked up already. There's already, oh, God, there's, like, smokers and shit. Oh, no. Ugh, I hate it already. Yep. Okay, well, I love ducks, so actually this isn't scary at all. I love ducks. I love ducks. Oh, I want a duck so bad. I want to have a duck as a baby. I really do. I want to just have it be my son. I can't wait to get a duck. As soon as I get a house, I'm getting a duck. Several ducks, actually. I really love ducks. Yep. Meat. Love it. Yep. Gotta love it. Ugh. This is why I hate meat. Gross. Gross. It's flesh. Stop. Yuck. Yuck. Little picture. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Lots of meat. And I don't like it. It's yucky. <sighs> Everything seems normal, though. And then you get to those rooms and you're like, no. F this. Um, yeah. My dream. Yeah, I don't really know. That's the worst part about it. But I kept waking up and going back into it, too. Ooh, a pumpkin patch. I love it. This is nice. This is what I like to see. I mean, there's blood around the scarecrows, so it's kind of implying that, like, they're humans or something, that, like, there's bodies in there and, like, they're dripping the blood. But you know what? That's fine with me, honestly. That's not the scariest thing I've seen all night. <laughs> 
This made me totally forget about my disastrous birthday. That and Kyle being sick, you know? Um, What do we got in here? Yeah, yep. Scary as hell. Oh, God, all the shoes. See, it's the things that, that they imply. You know, it's like these people. You know how like when you watch a scary movie like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, like Wrong Turn or something, and they've got all those cars from all the people that they killed before. That's the shit that's scary. There's a skeleton in there. So that's obviously like a dead person. Ooh, they got like a water bowl and shit. It's like they keep them alive for however long. Yikes. Um, but yeah, like when you watch those movies, like they have the cars and all the shit that used to belong to all their victims and tells like such a story without saying anything. Cause it's like, wow, they've done this to so many people before who were people like these were all people. There's, this is their shit, you know? scary god i just can't i hate it that stuff really affects me that's why this dream affected me is because i was like oh these people these poor people i just care about them a lot and i don't even know who they are but i like and that's what hurt the worst and was the scariest part was how much i cared about these people oh god yep we got bodies yeah bodies smoking yep meat oh my god there's a corpse that's been skinned for the meat yikes Yuck. Yuck. It's flesh. Yeah, I'm just not into flesh. Look at the head and shit. Oh, God. Yep, a whole bunch of, like, there's, like, the, um, the torso. <sighs> there's, like, the torso. There's, there's, oh, my God. Like, their aprons, their leather face aprons. And even though this is Animal Crossing, it, like, makes you feel like these villains are going to come and catch you at any time, you know? God, here's the basement. Here's the basement. So scary. Oh, my God. Actually, not so bad. Not so bad. Oh, wow. I love this. It's like an alligator. Uh, it's like a wow. So this is where they this is where they like dispose of all of the bodies of all the evidence so they don't get caught. Wow. That's so clever. That's adorable. I love it. <laughs> They're like alligators in here and they've got some bags and they just feed all the body parts to the alligators. I love that. That's so cute. I mean, it's not cute at all, but it's cute. It's like a cute, clever little thing. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Anyway, back to my dream that I keep trying to talk about. That's not really, that's like kind of all there is to it. I think that I just kept waking up because I was so scared. So like, yeah, I have the ability to like wake myself up. Who is this? Who the hell is this? Oh, Egbert. Wow, he's really a mess, this Egbert. Not surprised. Egbert's kind of a mess. And I'm not surprised to see that he's doing that shit here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but like I, you know, I have the ability to like come out of dreams. So I would like, oh, God, there's Gaston trying to get me to bring me to the backwater clinic. I'm not going. Oh, he's scary as hell, dude. He just came at me. That guy sucks. Gaston, you're with him? Really? I knew it. I knew it all along. Gaston and that guy. Oh, there's Duck Woman. Um, God, this place is crazy. Did I see it all? Let's just do a sweep. You know how I am. Yeah, so, yeah, so I kept, like, getting myself out of the dream. I wake myself up, and I'd be like, God, I hate that shit. But I couldn't, and I was so scared. I, like, felt... I don't know. I felt so like even more so like I'm you Raymond. Hey, what's up? Never mind. Stop. Amanda, keep going. <laughs> um, like usually I'm able to. Ooh. Ooh. Yep. They are throwing body parts in the ocean and shit. No big deal. Usually I'm able to disassociate and, and like or not disassociate. Like, oh, God, that guy's so scary. He's just always there. What a scary dude. Usually I'm able to tell myself like it's just a dream, you're going to be fine and then I can put myself at ease and and think, you know, good thoughts and try to set myself up for like a better dream. Is this Ika? Ika. Yep. Probably Ika. I think it's Ika. I do. I do think that's Ika. It's got to be. Who else would that be but Ika? Um so yeah, I uh yeah, I'm usually able to, I don't know, it just doesn't usually affect me that much, but every once in a while I get caught chops out of all people. He's behind all this shit, I'm convinced. Who's this? The doll? The broken doll. Yeah, what did they do to you? They really screwed you over out here, didn't they? I'm sorry. 
um, usually I'm able to, I don't know, I'm just able to kind of get myself in a better place and be like, you don't need to go back there. But every once in a while, I'll just like, you know, unfortunately be going back into these scary, scary, scary dreams. And that's how it was with this one. And I just kept, I don't know, I just, I don't know. I don't know what happened to her. I'm like scared. I don't know if she like made it or not, but I don't know if they killed like those men that she was with. You know what I mean? Like it's so scary. And that was like the scariest, hor most horrible part of it was that it was so real. It was just like a human, scary situation, just a horrible situation. I hate that. And that's a good premise, right? It's like, ooh, there's like all the graves. It's like somebody just keeps having dreams and they're like so real. And then she starts to find out that like they're in the news and stuff. Like that there's like, yeah, I'm writing a story <laughs> right before your very eyes. Catch us on Netflix next year. Ooh, there's some blood. Yikes. Kind of scary. Oh, I hate that guy. Muffy, what is going on here, Muffy? Muffy, come on. You're better than this, Muffy. You're better than this. You are. I hope you figure that out one day. There's the chef. Yikes. What a freak. Yeah, you gotta you gotta try some new shit. Cause this is weird what you're doing out here. Um, and you need to get help too. There's Stonehenge. Wow, I didn't know Stonehenge was a thing you could get. That's kinda cool. There's the chef. He wants to cook me up. Yep, look at him. Um what was I gonna say? Yeah, no, I just, that would be a good, a cool premise, right? Like, yeah, like, okay, so you're having these dreams. You're like, wow, these are different dreams than I've ever had in my life. They're so weird. They're so different. Muffy, I got to get, I have places to go. I'm sorry, girl. <laughs> I could be waiting on her ass. Um, yeah, and you're like, wow, these dreams are, like, affecting me a lot. Like, I just feel so, so much emotion for, like, the people... Or I feel like so much more scared or like it's just it's not me. It's like I'm somebody else. Oh, that guy is so scary. He's always there. You know what I mean? Like because that's how I felt in the dream. It was like very different. It wasn't just me. It wasn't me in the situation. It was someone else that I didn't really know, but I did, you know. Let me just go through this again. I don't know if I saw everything. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that would be a cool story. And then she finds out there's all the graves. Oh, God, she's so fast. She's just going a little too fast for me. Is she chasing me? Yeah, I think she's chasing me, actually. Um, but, yeah, then this, like, person who's been having these dreams, like, starts to realize or something. Like, maybe she, like, acts, she, like, inadvertently finds one of the articles that that shows that, like, one of the dreams that she has was like beat for beat, like a true actual murder that happened or something. And she sees like a picture of the people in the dream. And she's like, wow, these were like a uh, lady. Hello. I'm trapped. Get out of here. I'm in your dream. I have nothing to do with this shit. Don't bring me into your weird shit. Okay. Rule number one for this shit. When I come into your dream code, don't drag me into your personal shit. I'm here to be nosy, poke around and get the hell out of there. I don't want to be a part of any of this. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. That's my new story. And then she's like, oh my God, these are the people from my dream. And she starts realizing there's like a correlation and she keeps having dreams about murders and she has like a few dreams about murders. Oh, Raymond. Let's just talk to him one more time. Oh, there he goes again about the pepperoni shit. Oh, baked CD this time. He's cute. He's cute. He's really cute. He knows what he's doing. Raymond? <laughs> I can see it. I can definitely see it. I see it. I know why all y'all are tripping over him. There's the scary guy again. I think I've seen all that there is to see, I think. Anyway, yeah. And then she starts to realize, <laughs> here I go back on my story that I'm just making up on the spot. She starts to realize, like, oh, my God, I'm having dreams about people's actual murders and, like, last moments and shit. Oh, never mind. Sorry. I meant to use the uh, the map. I just want to see the map. Is that okay? Um, and she's like, wow. How many villagers does this person have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. There's the wolf woman. What is this one? I didn't see this person. Is that Aika? There's her. Wow, that must be the mummy. There's her. There's him. That's that woman that keeps chasing me. I think that's Pumpkinhead. Is that Pumpkinhead? She's actually kind of cute under there. Hey, Pumpkinhead. There's the go the friggin' there's that duck woman. 
there's the 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 church girl. Oh, there's one on the okay. There's one I haven't been to yet, I think. Down here. Let's see. Let's check it out. I almost like I'm kinda like, damn it, there's one I haven't been to yet. I'm scared. Anyway, yeah, that's my story. And then she's gotta like maybe she finds um or is it that one? Maybe it's that one. Is it that one? I have been to I have been to them all, haven't I? Is it this one? Yep, that's the one down here, I think, right? Is it? Where am I? Where am I? It doesn't show me on the map. No, it does. Yeah, that's it. Yep. I think I've seen them all. Yep. But anyway, yeah, she's got to like solve a murder. Maybe she gets, maybe, oh, maybe she is in a dream. I'm giving away the whole plot to you guys. It's fine. Because then you guys can tell me if I'm good at making up stories. <laughs> maybe it's all in my head. Maybe it's like the American Idol people, you know? Anyway, here's the ending. I'll just spoil it for you. Because even if I do end up writing it into a story, it'll be better. It'll be even better. She ends up having this dream about this girl or something. It's always a girl. Because girls are more interesting. I'm just going to, you know, give it to you straight. Um, She ends up having this dream. And she's like, wait, that girl didn't get killed. Like, she's being held captive or something so she's having this dream and she finds out that this girl is being held captive but hasn't gotten killed yet so she's able to like lead them to where she is and like find out where she is and like save her you know what I mean like solve this like kidnapping and it's like really scary because she almost gets killed but because like she's having a dream about like her experience or something or maybe she has a dream it's another fossil shit maybe she has a dream about like another person who gets killed but she sees in the dream that there's another person there who hasn't been killed yet, you know? Because she can't necessarily like go into the dreams of somebody who's like still alive. I don't know, you know? It's a whole thing. There's a whole thing here. I think I'm done. I, get me out of here. How do I wake up? What differs from reality? <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Dream islands are unchanging. Nothing you can do can affect the real island. So you may do as you wish. You must also enter each dream empty-handed, but fret not. I will return your things when you wake. Is there any other information you require? Get me out of here. Just get me out of here. To leave the dream, simply lie down in this bed. Also, when you wake, I shall return your belongings to you. Yeah, get me out of here. Just get me out of here, Luna. Can you please? Because this place is weird. This place is weird and scary. Oh, there's like a... What is that? Huh. It's like the thing where I can get um some custom codes and stuff and like I don't know if I want to wear a specific outfit. Get me out of here, Luna. This was weird. This was scary, but I got a really good idea for like a whole entire horror movie. So or it's not, it's like a thriller, you know, it's like a crime. No, but it's a horror movie for sure because you keep reliving like the horrific murders of people, you know? So it's a horror movie, but it's like a thriller too. It's like a mystery. Get me out of here. Look at me. Yeah, that was horrible. I hate that. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. Oh, I got to put Anka up. Oh, wait, I already got Somebody gave me Anka's, uh, Anka's poster already. So Anka's already up there. Um, What was I going to do? Oh, yeah, there's a campsite villager. I'm just... <laughs> Yeah, so about, uh, what is it called? I'm all over the place today, but you guys are used to that. I'm always all over. I always am like, today is just a weird day where I'm all over the place. I'm always all over the place. Let's be real <laughs> for two seconds. Hitokuai? No, Hitokuai. Is that what it's called? Hitokuai? The cannibal village? Oh, my God. 10 out of 10. Every time. So scary. So scary. There was some genuine, I don't think I've ever been... There, I don't think I'll ever be as scared as I was with that woman in the paintings that I had to literally tell y'all, I had to literally tell y'all to look away because I thought it was like a little too scary. <laughs> like I was like, holy shit, this is actually so scary. Who's this? Scary? War Jr.? Oh my God. Scary for sure. Rasher? I mean, I love him. I love the guy. What a sweetheart. <laughs> look at the smile. But he's scary. It's always a scary person. Am I, I've never had like a pleasant like, oh, my God, it's Judy. Like, oh, my God, it's it's Raymond. It's it's like somebody beautiful like Diana. It's always someone just kind of shrill and kind of scary. Blanche is the most beautiful person who's ever been in my campsite. And it's because I begged her to come. Howdy, I'm just staking a claim for a bit, enjoying the camping life. Be seeing you around, swine. He just called me swine. 
yo, fuck you, Rasher. That's actually, that's just very like, <laughs> you know, I get it. Like, I, I don't think it's offensive to be called a pig because pigs are beautiful, intelligent, very sweet creatures. But swine, I, honestly, it invokes what I just went through at the cannibal village. It, I feel like they would call me swine. You know what I mean? Ugh, disgusting. But I did, do you guys remember in my, um, in my like rating every villager video, I did say Rasher is on the run and he's welcome to crash at our campsite anytime. He has a lot of scars, several, several more than I thought. Anyway, good old Rasher. Good for Rasher. He's cute. He is cute. I like him. Something about him. He's, he seems very, he seems genuine. You know, he seems like the type of criminal, right? That even though he's hardened, he's done bad shit. He's done bad shit. Let's just be honest. He's done some shit he ain't proud of. But if he loves you, he'll do that bad shit for you. Like he will kill and die for you. You know, he's like the mob guy who will like kill somebody, but then he's got like a daughter that he loves. And he's like a, you know, he'll like bend over backwards for her. You know what I mean? Or he's got like a little niece or something that he loves. You know what I mean? He's like that type. What's up, Kix? What do you got? Welcome, chum. Have a look. No rush, no rush at all. You bring the same shit every time. No, these are new. Oh, wait. Right. Shiny bow platform shoes comes to 2,400 bows. So you buying? I'm buying. You know me. Very much obliged. That's my Kix voice. Kix is so damn cute. I love him so much. I appreciate your business, my chum. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. I feel like it's about the power's about to go out because this is there's like a storm. There's a storm of brewing. I feel like the power is about to go out. So I'm gonna wrap it up because <laughs> you know I could go and go and go. And I'm scared. So that sucks. <laughs> Imagine the power going out. Let's check on Kyle. The power's about to go out. I'm gonna have to deal with that. And I'm scared, because I just went to Cannibal Village and it was honestly so horrifying. I'll never get that woman out of my head. Kyle's all better. Look at him now, <laughs> he's so cute. I don't like when he says that though. Oh, I love that. This whole island's starting to look like a whole, a whole Halloween paradise. That's cute. Look at him. He really does put this shit together himself. And it's totally like him, you know? It's what this man would be wearing in real life. That's hilarious. Kyle, I guess you're all better now. Maybe I should go get you that nice guitar. But yeah, I'm just gonna cap it off here before it, the power dies and I get scared. <laughs> and I start crying and shit, even though I'm hard ass, I'm a badass. Uh, yeah, no, the, um, hit, what is it? Oh my God, oh my God! It's so cute! Oh my God, Kix, look at him. This is T, this is T. I mean, I like really, oh, yo, he's so obsessed with her as, as he should be. Look at her, she's so cute. Did she just like say hi to a flower? Lily. Lily, what are you doing? Kix is in love with you. Kix is in love with you. Goose, get out of here, ruining everything. No, it's weird, cause like, I definitely ship Kix and Marina, but also Kix and Lily though. Really cute. Kix is in love with her. He really is. Did you see that? That was very, uh, the the chemistry was there and it was real. You know, where the hell's Sherb? That's the one thing I wanna know before I go to bed tonight. Where the hell is Sherb? He's in his house. Let's see what he's got going on in there. Busted, busted. Are we busted? Busted. Yep, he's murdering someone. Busted, what do you got? Check me out, I'm doing stuff. Yeah, you sure are, aren't you? Killing people. Wooden bookshelf, huh? Yep, bugs in the walls whispering shit to him. He needs to get help. He needs to get, get help. This is scary stuff. Because what? A, one of these days, they're going to whisper something scary to him. Ooh, wooden bookshelf. I've always wanted this one. It's taken me forever to get to it. Yes, I finally got the bookshelf. But I'm not going to give 
sure of any credit for that because he's a serial killer. Anyway, the power is about to go out and I could keep talking and talking, but I'm not going to because I'm scared. Okay, Marina's okay. That's all we wanted to know I because I needed to check on Marina before I left. Marina's fine for the day, for, for now. Everything's scary. Hitokuai Village, the cannibal village, so scary. I'm actually so shocked. So scary. Some of that stuff I was literally like, y'all might want to look away from this. So scary. That was really scary. That woman's going to be haunting my dreams tonight. Anyway, uh, stay safe. Don't get hurt by anything or anyone and have some sweet dreams because I hope I don't give you scary ones. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.